Now at this point it doesn't really matter a whole lot if the uh, blank was to break the surface. Just for the fun of it. Let's take the weight off of it and see if it'll float. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll float. I thought perhaps it'd be so saturated that it wouldn't float anymore. The lens on my thermometer had a little bit of cactus juice on it from the last time, and I thought I'd clean it off with acetone. Big mistake. Good thing I still had my buffing system set up from the last project. Now here's something I'm going to try. I've got this mold release from the alumilite stuff, and I'll just... I don't think I need any more than that. Maybe smear it a little. What would happen? Oh yeah, sure. That'll smooth it out. Maybe I should put a little bit more down here at, at the beginning where I'm going to... Yeah. Kind of like cooking spray. Okay. Now the idea is to get this all wrapped up nice and tight before the Illuminate has a chance to run out of the end grain. Did I say Illuminate? I meant cactus juice. Sorry, Curtis. Nice and tight there. Fold it up on the ends. And be careful not to break the aluminum foil. Because I have in the past done it so tight that I've accidentally torn the foil here and it leaks out. Okay. Now we'll get that stuck in the... And we'll leave it for a little over an hour. Now, unlike alumilite, what's left over is poured back. Now, I realize that this particular batch is going to be... Oh, look at how that uh, green stayed on the bottom there. Now, that's interesting. Maybe I should have stirred that up. Well, this is all new to me. I've never dyed uh, cactus juice before, so... Uh... Hmm... I wonder if it'll hurt my finger. Shouldn't. Okay. Now we should be able to use that again if I want to dye something this color. And clean up is, is easy. You just use soap and water. Now I was a little bit disappointed the way that green had settled to the bottom of the tray and I thought it was a problem with the cactus juice and then I realized, wait a minute, the blue didn't settle, just the green. Oh yeah, the green is fluorescent green. The little particles that give it the fluorescent shimmer, I guess, were a little bit heavier and they settled. Anyway, I think you understand what happened there. And I don't have to go contacting Turntex. It's not their fault. It was me. I used the wrong dye. Now, just a point of interest here, as long as we're talking about this cactus juice. When I first got it, well over two years ago now, instructions that I read said something about if you want it to last a while, you keep it away from heat and light. So I thought, hey, the fridge, that's the complete opposite. That, that ought to preserve it. Now, as you can imagine, if I don't watch what I'm doing, I might get a big surprise when I go to get a glass of orange juice. Now, here's something that'll be interesting to you if you're a camera buff like I am. You'll notice this scene is way off in focus. Well, normally I manual focus everything, and this particular time I thought, well, you know, I'll just use the word Black & Decker and let the camera autofocus on that. What I didn't realize was that the camera was looking right through that, right past that, at the reflection on the back wall. <laughs> and the back wall is nice in focus. Uh, you know, like you can see a bit of a saw blade there and what have you. Yeah, on the other hand, maybe you don't care. Maybe you're watching this on your cell phone and can't see it anyway. Now, mind you, if you are watching on your cell phone, I'm not trying to put that down. Thanks for watching. Ah. 
That doesn't look much different, does it? Well, clearly, I did not have a strong enough solution of, di of dye. Instead of just a few little drops there that I used, I should have used quite a bit more. Well, we'll see what happens when we turn it down. I can well imagine that I've got a hundred YouTube videos out there that show me drilling out the hole, gluing in the brass tube, you know, doing the barrel trimmer thing. I'm just going to go ahead and do that this afternoon. So, we'll see you at the lathe tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching.